And I'm very positive, two years from now, there will be an entrance exam for stand up comedy. <laughs> there will be a multiple choice test. <laughs> and only those who clear it will be certified to be stand up comedians. And that happens everywhere because we, especially Indians, we don't feel we deserve anything until we give an exam. I mean, think about it. I mean, exam has its own uh, has its own aura to it, right? Go back to your childhood days. There's an aura. There's a feeling to go back uh, to this thing. For me, two two weeks before the exam date, I used to know that my book is missing <laughs> because until then I never felt the need for it, and I would go find it. And I was like, oh, this is a book, and it's so much of a hard work to just find it. I almost feel like I should be, you know, here in the exam. But you know. Um, when you are doing an examination, one of the most important things that everyone loves to do is create a plan. And people enjoy creating a plan. I don't know how many of you have ever given an exam without creating a steady plan. Your steady plan is that meticulous, over-ambitious list of things that you're doing. You almost feel inside you're superhuman, right? You almost feel like two chapters Monday, two chapters Tuesday, three chapters in, three times revision on Friday, Saturday I'm taking rest, Sunday is the exam. You even incorporate the rest. So I used to follow this kind of plans and three days later when I was finished with only one chapter I used to call my friend and ask for the next best thing. You know what that is? Important questions. And so for someone with my mindset, I have to think when there are already important questions, why are we studying unimportant things? Because if they are not important, why are they there in our syllabus? If they were just important questions, why don't you just teach us important things? And these important questions are like celebrities. You can slow on their birthday guru. years in the birthday there. From the birthday. This law of motion comes. Poor's law, this law, that law. It will come and you know, people relate to it. You know, when I read that subject, I'm like, oh, Newton's law. He's coming for the last 10 years in our examination, right? You build these things to it. There's one benefit of the examinations, which I can tell you one thing, is that everyone likes to be shabby like a scientist and you know, with hair here and there and you're like, ah, I'm feeling like I'm doing something. And that time your parents really, really, really flatter you, right? The night before the exam is better than the first night. It's the best night because, because you can ask for whatever you want. If I wanted that bike, I mean, I'll get <laughs> You can get whatever you want. In fact, at night, get up at 3 o'clock and say, I want Maggie, I want pizza, I want a cup of tea. It will come. It will come. Is that good? This, you know, the night before the exam. I, I wish there were so many exams so that I have more nights like this. Right? But if you were raised in a Brahmin family like I was, we get up on the exam day with Om That's <laughs> When there's a bhajan playing, you have an exam. And that day, everyone is very professional. Right? <laughs> you know, right? Never, you never checked with me before, but anyway. Okay. <laughs> In India, you may be 17 years old, 20 years old, 25, 30, 40. If you give an exam, your parents drop you to the exam center. Period. <laughs> Period. There is no two questions about that. I have seen entrance, medical entrance exams, you know, there, there are people looking older than their parents, standing next to their parents. Their parents have come to drop them to the entrance exam, that's how important it is for them. And they have to check your roll number, and your room that you are going in. They have to see you are in there and not running away. Right? And you, just when you get rid of them, you have this big friend of yours, who the first thing will ask, Hey, do you have a relative to read it? <laughs> and that question you would have had no idea. You know, it's there somewhere in that book, in that corner. You can see physically what it looks like. And he's like, I chipped the mark, man. Clearly of relativity. And you would be like, yeah, yeah, I learned, I learned. And then these same guys, they act like, I'm going to fail, Ocha. I'm going to fail, huh? I've not studied anything. Oh, it is, and it's a bad omen to say you have done or prepared well before an exam. <laughs> if you say you have done well before an exam, some Rahu Ketu will make you fail and make you look bad. No, nobody who gives an exam says I prepared really well. There's like, yeah, I'm going to tense man, I'm not remembering anything, I've not done anything, only five revisions I've done, nothing I'm say. <laughs> and there's this whole scene with revisions. I have seen people do this last minute revision. They are not understanding anything. They have to just finish it. They have to finish it to feel that yes, I have completed the revision. They are not understanding. You ask them anything from that area, you know, I don't know. They have to revise. People like me don't even go with books to the exam hall. 
and believe these guys when they say we are going to fail. I'm like, अच्छा ये तो रहेगा ना ये तो हम फेल होते हैं. I have company. You realize that very late what they meant. And when you go inside the exam hall, pretty much in the first five minutes, you know what's going to happen. In that. You see the paper. First question would be, of course, theory of relativity. Like, so this came. If I knew, then I just ask him to tell me all these questions beforehand. They are the ones that come. Something about these, uh, you know, examinations. There are different types. I am from the era where there used to be extra answer sheets and a thread. A thread at the end. I don't know how many people over here are now, but now you have these MCQs. I don't know. It's such a it's such a skill to color those markings, right? There should actually be marks for those. I, if there were marks for just coloring that, I would have cleared every exam. But anyway, but I think one of the things that you see a lot in these exam halls, and there's always one in every class. Extra paper. <laughs> Extra paper. One more. One more. One more. One more. This is one guy or girl in the class who's always asking so many extra papers, like that toilet paper. <laughs> when I tell him, <laughs> whereas there are some who actually need a toilet paper, and they go to the toilet. I have not attended one exam when nobody's gone to the toilet. I don't know what it is about exams and aeroplanes that make people want to shit in me. The moment an exam starts, their biological functions should not be interrupted. They have to go to the restroom and then they have to do that. I don't know what they do there. Same in the aeroplane. They'll be waiting for five hours in the aeroplane in the airport. The moment flight takes off, seat belt sign is off. Seat belt is off. <laughs> and there's a queue. It's like you know, I paid like a lot of money. I am going to shit here. I really think it's going to go down. <laughs> <laughs> what is this eating? Is it? I want to know. I am going to hold it in the waiting room, and I am going to board the aircraft at forty thousand feet with that gravity. <laughs> I don't understand what's it about exams and this immigration. You do nine revisions. You just clean your bowels before you go and set the exam hall. For some people, every minute is precious. There are some people in every exam hall who will be like, "Finish, ma'am." <laughs> Whereas there are the other spectrum, which always end like a Hindi movie climax, where the hero and heroine are separated. No, 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 no,